This is Shelly Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the LD Micro 9th Annual Main Event in Bel Air, California, 2016. I have with me Ron Dutt, Flux Power. It's a publicly traded company, and the symbol is F-L-U-X. Ron, welcome to SNN Live. Shelly, thanks for having me on today. It's good to have you. Let's start out with an overview on Flux Power, and then we'll go from there. Uh, thanks, Shelley. Uh, at Flux Power, we make and sell large format lithium batteries for forklifts. It's a bi- multi billion dollar industry, and our, our strategy is we've got a new and better battery to replace legacy lead acid batteries in this industry. What took you so long? <laughs> I mean, they've been trying to replace lead batteries forever. Yeah, uh, lead acid batteries were introduced in 1913, made a lot of improvements, but now we have lithium chemistry that's well proven, safe, reliable, is in use, and we're seeing a growing demand for it. What's the adoption ratio compared? With us, customers will try it, demo, and we have very high adoption rates, up to 70-80%. If they try it, they like it, they pilot it, and they include it in their ordering system. Does it matter what size the equipment is, or you know, is it just a matter of if you need more power, you take, you use more batteries? It, yes, that's very good. It's very modular and scalable, which is how we talk about it. We just string more batteries together. Uh, it's always a little more complicated than it sounds, but we string them together and make the compartment bigger. Uh, to power whatever needs uh, the equipment might have. What are some of the comparables to lead acid batteries? Like for instance, price, duration, uh, maintenance, etc. Good question. Uh, The initial price of lithium is about double that of lead acid, but our batteries last three to five times longer Uh, Secondly, there's no water maintenance, which is a big cost, uh, big operational demand uh, to water uh, lead acid uh, batteries. And what about uh, when you want to replace a lithium battery? Is there any particular uh, EPA restrictions? Uh, No, they're they're both classified uh, uh, similarly. Uh, there are recycling centers that will take uh, lithium just like lead acid. Now you say it lasts longer. How much longer? And, and how, how is, you know, when a, like a trucking company, I, I mean, I could just see so many other uses of it. Uh, yeah, our batteries last three to five uh, times longer in the sector we're in, which is walkie uh, pallet jacks. Um, And the third parties have tested our packs to last over seven years with normal use. So after the equipment typically lasts five years, and our batteries can be repurposed, we'll even take them back and repurpose them for other uses. Ron, tell me about the growth of the company. We've been uh, making and selling these batteries for several years now. We've got about seven, 800 of them out there in the marketplace, and we're now positioned with having our UL listed mark on it, which we're the only ones in the industry to have. And we've put in place our production and assembly facility using lean manufacturing methods to provide ramping the business. So we're just now starting to ramp, uh, very excited. We have much more demand than capacity. Uh, So we're looking to have 2017 be a very, very big year for us. Now, how do you distribute these batteries? Through distributors or do you go direct to the market? We have a multi-pronged national distribution system. We sell through large regional battery distributors located at all the major metropolitan areas in the country. Also through the equipment dealers of the main manufacturers such as Toyota and Crown Equipment who are also nationwide. By the way, that was my next question. How is the adoption of OEMs, which is original equipment manufacturers, versus the retrofit market? And how do they relate to one another? 
the uh, the, orig the equipment manufacturers will sell a, the equipment to users and uh, there's an opportunity on the part of the dealers or the distributors to include our batteries and we're actually working with the OEMs to coordinate that process uh, with the equipment out there currently with lead acid as they as the lead acid batteries die and replace them we use the di the distributors and dealers to provide replacement of those lead acid batteries in the fleets that are existing now what's your background my background i started with ford motor company and uh, learned finance at ford motor company and in automotive and have been a number of other public companies since then now what's your website for our audience if you would our website is fluxpwr.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Dutt, Flux Power. It's a publicly traded company and the symbol is FLUX. This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. And we're coming to you from the LD Micro 9th Annual Main Event in Bel Air, California, 2016. Ron, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me on, Shelley. Pleasure, pleasure to be here.